Question 2. Add the rests below the brackets to complete each of the following measures. The first time signature is 2-2, two two, which is symbol time signature, 2 beats, each beat equals a half note. We have a double dotted quarter note. The first dot equals an 8, the second dot equals a 16th. I will add a 16th rest and this will make the first half note. Then we have an 8th note quintuplet which equals to 4 8th notes which equals to a half note. Therefore this bar is already complete. The second bar is a continuation of 2-2 two -two time signature. We have a couple of notes at the end of the bar which are two 32nd notes which equal one 16th note. I will add a 16th rest and this will equal now an 8th. I will add an 8th rest and this will equal now a quarter. I will add a quarter rest and this will equal now a half note which is this second beat here and I will add a half rest for the first beat. Next bar is 7-8 which is a mixed meter time signature which could be grouped as 4 plus 3 8 notes, 3 plus 4, 2 plus 3 plus 2, 3 plus 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2 plus 3. We have two 8 notes here grouped together so that will be a grouping of two. Then we have an 8 note and two sixteenths equaling also two 8 notes. So we will have a grouping of three here under the bracket. I will use a dotted rest to represent three eight notes and this group of three. In the second bar we have a dotted eight note. There are various ways of grouping this bar but I will just choose to continue with the same type of grouping so three plus two plus two. So I will add a sixteenth rest to make two eight notes out of this group of three and then I will add an eight rest which will complete this group of three eight notes and then I will add a quarter rest here and a quarter rest. If you choose different groupings your answer here will be different than what I have here. The next bar is a bar of 12-4. This is a compound time signature, a quadruple compound time signature, meaning that there are four beats and every beat will have three quarter notes. So I will write the groupings above. The first group of notes is a quarter note duplet, which equals to three notes. At the end of the bar we have three eight notes. Two of the last eight notes will equal this quarter here. And then I will need to add an eight to equal the second quarter here in this group. And then a quarter rest. And this will complete the last beat. For beat two and three I will use a single rest, single dot rest for each. So a dotted half rest and a dotted half rest. An alternate way of writing this would be to use a half rest plus a quarter rest for each of these beats. This will be correct as well. The next bar is a simple time signature of 3-4 consisting of three quarter notes, so one quarter note per beat. The grouping of notes that we see here is a 16th note sextuplet which equals to a triplet which equals to two regular eight notes which equals to a quarter note. So this will be our first beat. For the second and third beat I will use quarter note rest for each one of them. 
Then the time signature of 3, 4 continues to the next bar. At the end of the bar, we have a dotted quarter. Uh, the dot here represents an 8, which is taken out of the second beat. So I will need to add an 8 rest, and this will complete beats 2 and 3. For the first beat, I will use a quarter rest. On the next line, we have a time signature of 9, 8. This is a triple compound time signature, meaning that there are three beats, and every beat here equals three eight notes. At the end, we have a single 30 second note. If I add a 30 second rest, this will equal now to a 16th. If I add a 16th rest, this will equal now an 8th, which is our last 8th note here in the third beat. I will put here a quarter rest, although an alternate way to write this would be two 8th rests, which would be also correct. And for beats 1 and 2, I will use dotted quarter rests. An alternate notation would be a quarter rest plus an eight rest. Quarter rest plus an eight rest. Then we continue to a, another bar of nine eight, and I will again make a, a representation of that by writing these eight notes above it. We start with an eight note, and then we have a 16th note triplet, which equals to two regular 16ths, which equals to one eight. So this equals to an eight note, plus this eight note that completes the first two eight notes of the first beat. And then we need to add one more eight to complete the first beat. For the second and third, I'll use the same notation as I do here with dotted quarter rests. An alternate way of writing would be to use a quarter and an eight for each one of these beats here. The next bar is a mixed meter time signature of 516, which could be grouped as either 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2 sixteenths. We have a group of notes here. We have a 16 to 30 second notes which equal 1 16th, and then we have another 16th at the end. So this group of notes equals 3 16ths. So then we are left for the remainder of the bar with 2 16ths. We have a 30 second note at the end. If I add a 30 second rest, this will make 1 16th. Therefore, I need another 16th rest here to complete this bar. At the end, I will erase all my scribblings here and just leave whatever is required by the question.